This is Eurydice by Sarah Rule. It is a modern retelling of the classic Orpheus and Eurydice myth. Um, wherein Eurydice dies, Orpheus follows her to the underworld and uh, to rescue her from death. This isn't a, a, a Greek play in our telling of it. Uh, it is Sarah Rule's interpretation and the major difference is that it's told from Eurydice's point of view, which is not something that I don't, I don't think it's been done before with this particular story. The part I play is the father, Eurydice's father. And um, from the beginning of the play, uh, we realize that he's in the underworld, he's died. And uh, through some miraculous uh, circumstance or device, he's able to see his daughter. And um, the events that drive the play lead Eurydice then to die and come to the underworld where they meet. Um, but part of the thing in going to the underworld is that you're dipped in the leafy and uh, lose your memory. And so part of, part of what happens in the play is that the way Sarah Rule sets up this world is that that may be actually a good thing uh, to lose those connections to our loved ones in order to spend an eternity not in grief. The play is a huge poem. It is a painting. Um, it is a moving piece of art, I think. And if you're able to open yourself up to viewing it in that way and bringing your own imagination to it, not judging yourself for not knowing what what an image means or what uh, a word means. It's not quite a linear story, but I think if you open your mind to that experience, it is a deeply personal experience, and every audience member can walk away thinking that they saw something different, and that's great. I mean, that's, I think that's part of the point, that having a personal experience in the theater um, is, is based on the individual. And I think that play demands that of us as audience members.